Hello everyone, this is Yancy and in this video I'm going to tell you about why do we use Mimikatz, what are its features, specifically how do we run Mimikatz on Windows 7. So let us begin. In order to run Mimikatz, you would require a virtual machine which will essentially have Windows XP or Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, your server versions including 2003, 2008 or maybe server 2012. But before we actually proceed to its implementation, we should know that what are the features that Mimikets provides to us which differentiates itself from its competitors. The first one is Mimikets help us to export certificates and keys. It also stops event monitoring. In fact, it also patches terminal server. It dumps cached credentials for us. Not only this, it also generates Kerberos golden and silver tickets. And I guess the most important one is that it helps to bypass Microsoft App Locker or software restriction policies. Now, we have seen that there are a lot of advantages of Mimikatz over other tools. It makes sense to actually go and run it. Now, in order to do that, make sure that your Windows Defender is turned off because otherwise this file will be regarded as malicious and your other browsers and primarily Google Chrome won't be able to download it. So simply type Mimikatz. So this is just an additional security check and it might not occur to you if in case you are trying it for the first time. So you can safely go to its git version. You can go on to this file mimikads underscore trunk dot 7c. Once you download this, this will appear into your downloads. So I have copied this onto my desktop and the next step is to unzip it. Right. Once I unzip it, I will have these many folders with me. And if you closely observe, these two folders regard as Windows 32 and Windows 64 bit. Right. So depending upon your operating system, you can go on to corresponding folder. Once you actually go inside the folder, you will see that there is an executable present inside it by the name Mimikatz. So just click on this and a terminal like this will appear. Now since I mentioned that Mimikatz is used to track down the credentials, let us try with, the, with this part. In order to do so, you have to type down privilege and then debug hit enter once you do this it will show you the status as privilege 20 ok so that means you are safe to go now what if i want to see the credentials the next step is to type this command passwords The output is quite verbose in itself since it tells me the username over here which is administrator and just below this you can see that I have LM and NTLM in fact the SHA-1 hashes with me. Since we have studied that LM and NTLM hashes are quite common in earlier version of Windows it makes sense to proceed with LM and NTLM hashes. So you can be quite satisfied with this amount of information just in case you want to know the username. But if you are also interested in the password, the next step is to select this NTLM hash and go on to any online NTLM hash decryptor, which can be quite found online. The NTLM hash can be supported or can be written down here and can be sent. Right, so this is how you can actually see the NTLM hash 
and corresponding to it your password. Well, that's all for the Mimikat. Let me know if you have any doubts. Thank you.